Hello and welcome to the Con Point Podcast. All I'm asking for is total perfection. I'm Brendan, here with Luke. Yes. And Jonathan. That's me. And this week we're talking about the Lego movie. Which uh, Jonathan selected because we asked him his favorite comedies and the Lego movie was at the top of the list and we were like, what the fuck? It was not number one. It was in your top three, I think. That's because I could only think of three movies. Thanks, dude. Anyway, um, uh, before we get into it, short and sweet, Luke, what did you think? Well, I know Jonathan doesn't like this movie. Um, <laughs> but no, um, it's it's fine. I liked it. That's about it. Jonathan? I really like this movie. I think it's funny. Um, I like it less than when I originally saw it, which I think is kind of par for the course for, like, comedy movies that aren't, like, imminently quotable. Um, and I also noticed some things that I, I didn't notice in my first viewing because uh, when I originally saw this movie, I, I wasn't in a mindset of really thinking about movies in any critical sort of way. Um... And we can get into those. Uh, I still think it's fine, though. Like, the first time I saw it, I probably would have given this movie, like, a 7 or an 8. I would give it less now. Very well. Um, well, how do we want to do this? Do you want to go through the plot? I know you said you didn't really like that last time. I kind of prefer to go through, like, acts. Just right, right, right. I think that that would be a good way to sort of... Cause... I think we need more than just randomly going through ideas, but I think that we need less than going through every single thing. So I have a I have a general comment first that doesn't pertain to acts necessarily. Sure. Um, one thing I notice about this movie that I, I think is a negative: um, the core three that were introduced to first, being um, Chris Pratt as Emmett, uh, Elizabeth Banks as Wildstyle, and Morgan Freeman as uh, Vitruvius. None of them are really making a voice acting choice. They're just kind of being themselves. Like I think you're forgetting the core four. Forgetting Will Ferrell. Um, yes, that's also fair. Uh, so yeah, those four people, like, you know, they don't feel like they're playing characters, right? Like other people in the movie, while still recognizable for themselves, uh, like it's their voice, obviously you can pick them out. Mm-hmm. feel like there's at least some sort of character choice going on so like the the supporting cast or the rest of the main team however you want to refer to them i'm good with that and everyone's voice acting is still like obviously very proficient like nobody's doing a bad job it just i wish they had done something those people yeah i get i get what you're saying um what and I actually say is a positive real quick is that the visuals of this movie are just gorgeous? Oh yeah, yeah. I do. The, I do the want anim- to start with that. Yes. the animation is the like, animation is oh, incredible. Like you cannot um, deny that. Yeah, of course. Yes, very very good. Um, actually, you, you brought up Will Ferrell. One another interesting thing about this movie. This is simultaneously uh, my least favorite Will Ferrell role and my favorite of his roles. Oh yeah, because. <laughs> Lord Business, President Business is fucking terrible. It's everything I hate about Will Ferrell movies turned up to 11. I detest the character. Uh, but when he's playing the dad, like, he's actually doing, like, some sincere acting and, like, he, he's reacting to emotional impetus and, like, he's actually, like, for how dumb and small of a part of it is, he's good as the dad in this movie. I don't know how much you guys paid attention to the dad, but like, yeah, no, I mean, I didn't. I wouldn't say he was. He did bad, but I, I wouldn't say that he did good. I think he did good for Will Ferrell in like a serious role. He did better than I guess I would expect. I, I think it's I think good. most comedians can do pretty good in yeah in a comedic role. It's just they never get that chance. Yeah, or in a non-comedic role, but yeah. But like you know, there's there's like the humorous dichotomy of like. He still plays it for a joke, but it's not over the top Will Ferrell where he's like, no, 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 because the way I'm doing it, it's adult stuff. 
and then like yeah but i mean you had moments like that in elf like there's, there's elf is still just the over the top yeah but there are moments yeah yeah there are the moments top. i just like the dad as a cohesive performance is like none of it i hated like it, it wasn't right. none of it bothered me like he, his like reaction to being hurt when the when he realizes he's the villain and stuff like i think he's doing a good job um it's, it's not the most important role and obviously it's not the most monumental performance but it i i think it was good enough to you know what to I, think the, I think the bad uh like what you think of as bad like the, the president business i think that makes it better when you find that it's in the mind of a kid yeah that, well, i mean it's i mean his performance is not in the mind of a kid though it is still will ferrell doing a will ferrell performance I don't think it's his performance that's bad. He was probably directed that way. No, no, I I just not that it is functionally bad. I just don't like bad enough, stuff. But it be I, I I think it's it's better as you find that oh, president business is supposed to be, you know, yeah, his dad essentially. So this is all of, like we'd all seen this movie before, right? Like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it being a rewatch definitely helps the uh, the storyline that like isn't really touched on until the end of this is all happening in a kid's mind. Like you see all the little stuff they laid out um, in the movie, which is cool. Like uh, yeah. the billboards have like uh, they they have quotes that are like from his dad, like what part of no don't you understand and stuff like that i actually didn't see any of that yeah it's, I like it's the... pretty quick that it goes by but yeah. yeah that's sort of a something about this like that's kind of why i chose this is because i think that you were you had it in your head that like zoomer humor was like quick and that quick humor is like inherently bad but i just kind of wanted to point out like there are good things that come from like jokes that don't care if you notice them jokes that like just kind of pass you by and i think, I think that's useful okay a lot. So, I, I don't necessarily think that's what i consider zoomer humor i would consider zoomer humor to be like all right like the lol random scene of like the end millennials if you will like 2010 to like 2015 mm -hmm. um turned up to the fact where like it's so obvious they're like um like ridiculous characters and then there's you know the straight man and it's just done in such a way that I feel like it's it's. There were some moments in this movie where I cringe from oh. like oh, so I I don't like this. But yeah, for sure. Let me let me clarify my point from last week. I don't think there's no. I wasn't saying there's nothing good in Lego Movie. I, I specifically the humor is what I was focused in on for what I think is, um, not great in this movie. So you don't like the humor in this movie. So here, I, I, I made a point to uh, have my notebook by my side, and I wrote down every time I laughed at the uh, movie. And let me go through the list real quick. <clears throat> and that's the end of the list. Uh, no laughs. Did not laugh at this movie. Not once. Okay. <laughs> and like, I'm not like a laugh out loud at a movie type of person anyway, most of the time. Um, but like... Yeah, it just like didn't work for me really. And and some of it was just like knowing the jokes already, like seeing them coming because I've seen the movie, and part of it was just like just didn't find a lot of it funny. Um oh, that's super interesting because I don't know, there's so much about because there's so many levels of humor I think there's to find in this where it's like it's poking fun at itself, like in the plot. Like it's not taking itself too serious, and it's like, I, yeah, I, I I like the um, yeah, I I like the the poking fun at established things. Um, I like that stuff. That it just gonna... didn't make me laugh. Well, I mean, not every joke is a laugh out loud joke, and I'm cool with that. Well, I mean, none of them even made me like internally laugh. Is what I'm saying. I, I like it the, from a technical perspective, but I, it's not. It doesn't make me laugh. To me, the best joke is when Morgan Freeman just says, "Why are my pants cold and wet?" 
and it takes a few minutes before the water starts to rise in the submarine and that's by far got the biggest laugh out of me but yeah there were there weren't like too many moments where i was like there was a chuckle but that one made me laugh I don't and I wish I, could, for me. I wish I could but remember. I like the more random uh, shit. Yeah, I wish I could remember what I laughed at my first viewing. Because, like, there, there's some stuff that I was like, if I didn't see it coming, like, I ah, maybe would have laughed at this. Like, Morgan Freeman, where he's like, uh, I didn't get to finish my story because I died. Like, just like the sort of random heel turn stuff. Like, I maybe would have laughed at that, but I knew it was coming, so... It's hard. It's hard to judge from a like outside perspective of like, would I have laughed at this if I didn't know that it was coming? I don't know. I just thought because uh, like, so there is like the meta humor like that, but then there's also just a bunch of quick jokes that'll pass you by I, that I like. There's a lot of really bad dumb jokes too. I think that this is kind of sort of something I wanted to talk about. I think that a lot of the lol random stuff isn't as random as you as you may like think like to me i think the movie was poking uh fun at itself the entire time with some of that stuff now some of it was unironic and it was like terrible and not fun to watch but some of it was like it knew how goofy it was being and it's like poking fun at itself like that here's one of the the scenes that sticks out entire the entire cloud kitty land is like I hate Cloud Kitty Land as a concept, but I think that it Yeah, no, I don't I don't think it's bad. I get what it's doing there. I'm yeah, talking about specific in the moment jokes. Like here, let me give you a scene. The assembly of the master builders, Vitruvius calls to Gandalf and says like Dumbledorf. And then he's like, actually it's Gandalf. And then Dumbledore's like, it's pronounced Dumbledore. He's like, Dumbledorf? He's like, no, Dumbledore. And he's like Dumbledorf, that's what you said? And they like do it like three times. Like, why are you doing this? Like it's like maybe it's not that slow. It's it's quicker than that. No, no, but I know, but it like just like why does it exist? Like e- even if you want to leave in the Gandalf Dumbledore confusion just for like, you know, a a little poke of like, hey, these are the old wizards from the media property, you're like, that's fine. The back and forth on the name pronunciation, how many people have trouble pronouncing Dumbledore's name right next to fucking Hermione in the book? Let me uh let me give you a quote from this movie. Uh it it begins as such spaceship spaceship spaceship. Yeah, no, that one was bad. Sp- spaceship. <laughs> spaceship it could have been fine but it happened way too many times yeah but again that's like that's what this that's part of the problem of this movie is like maybe just reel it in a little bit and again I, like I, I'm, I'm not saying I actually the like the the overarching story i feel like it's pretty good like i feel like the comedy is is hit or miss for me so but this the story itself like i enjoyed it yeah, the story overall, cool. special thing. I think it is mostly good until the end. That's one of the things that detracts from this movie mm-hmm. uh, for me. And and actually, because this is a thing we've talked about, Jonathan, that you and I agree with, or agree on, and Luke, you may agree on. I don't remember if you were there for that conversation. Um, you tend to rate comedy movies differently because the the story being this perfect laid out thing isn't as important. Right, it's yeah. it's being played for laughs, so comedies tend to scale upward in rankings, um, and I absolutely agree with that. However, this movie I would not classify wholly as a comedy movie. It's trying to be a family movie with a cohesive story and an ending message at the end. I would say at the end, it like fully abandons being a comedy movie, actually. I agree. Sure, but I don't know. I think that this is definitely trying to be a comedy. No, no, I'm I'm not saying it's not a comedy. I'm saying it's just not wholly a comedy. I'm saying first and foremost, I think it's trying to be a comedy. I agree for the first two acts. 
the, the last act, it, it completely abandons being a comedy. And actually to its detriment, because everything it's parodying, it becomes. Like, I mean, the core plot of this movie is The Matrix. Yeah. Um, I, I did want to touch on that. We have totally abandoned the three-act structure, but I think that makes sense for comedies, so it's chill. Yeah, and also it's fine because we're actually discussing things. The, the, the structure, we only need structure if we're getting lost. Yeah. Um, so this movie is The Matrix, like very obviously, mm -hmm. in, in every conceivable way. Um, the problem is, at the end, they, they abandon riffing on The Matrix. And literally, even though the movie is trying to say to you in the dialogue, there is no special one, everyone's special... Emmett is still the special. He's still the chosen one at the end of the movie. Like, he literally is the chosen one who has saved the day because he has the, the uh, piece of resistance. Really? I thought it was, it, it abandoned it because uh, it was more or less just like, oh, these characters do not exist. It's all these two human characters just controlling everything. Man, um, you're not going to believe this because I thought it abandoned it in an entirely different way but yeah okay. continue <laughs> hold on what way did you think it abandoned it because uh the whole thing is it's riffing on like tropes um and one of the big tropes is like the hero is not special and then they make him special in the end yeah that's what i just said but they do that in matrix they do that exact same thing where in the matrix they literally tell keanu reeves they're like you're actually not the chosen you're they tell him that but he always was yeah the, yeah, he always he always was the special one in the Matrix. But if you ask, Smith was the special one. Yeah. The, okay, well, we're not talking about the Matrix. That's a yeah. that's a discussion for a different that's, time. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> but the point is, in this movie, which is the exact same as this fucking movie. By in, the way. in this movie, the 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 ending they want is he was never special. It doesn't matter though, because everyone's special. Everyone has the ability to do these things. If they like, you know, work at it or whatever. Like literally, that's what the dialogue says. Mm -hmm. But it's not true. <laughs> like it's not, not what happens. Emmett saves the day. He fucking he sees the Matrix yeah, as he's yeah. running through the construction and site. <laughs> even more than that, the whole movie's around him, mm -hmm. which makes him the most special. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, about I, I that. think I think the ending is a detriment to this movie. Yeah. And I, I honestly I don't even dislike the human, like the, the father son stuff. I think that's good. I just think the the Lego story should have held the comedy and let that be the earnest part. And then they were like, Well, the movie's no longer funny. We are the Matrix now. We are just the Matrix. <clears throat> And yeah, because like the other characters are irrelevant to the end of the story. Maybe if your message is everyone is special, maybe have everyone contribute to the end of the movie and not get their asses handed to them and then Ambit save the day. Yeah, he really pulled out a Super Saiyan Goku move, you know what I mean? Yeah. He did that. But, uh, you know, I, I liked the craggle. Mm -hmm. I liked the exact zero. Yeah. Yeah. I liked those pronunciations. I thought those were nice, clever little memes, if you will. Ben Diaz. The only one that doesn't work for me is Nail. Yeah. The polish of Nail. They have nails. <laughs> You, well, do you, you know, know you yes there there's a construction site they definitely have nails i mean i guess oh i was thinking other nail but you're right i mean i guess they don't use nails for construction the uh, nails must conceptually exist though like right right well maybe because they didn't uh function the same as the nails they have they were so, like well, this must mean naive i have a question for you guys <clears throat> did um so do you just count jokes that make you laugh out loud 
as like the only humor that is like important for a comedy? No, no. not at all. I mean, it's what about all like... of, what about all the humor of like living in a corporate society? That's like like that was the first thirty minutes of this movie. Is I hate it. My favorite, really. Yeah. The beginning I thought was the best. It was the strongest of just like this dude happily living through like being a schmuck. I definitely think I Act Two is the strongest. Really? Yeah. Huh. I totally think disagree. Act Three was the strongest. No, nah, that's where it shits the bed a little bit. I don't think Act so. Three. Think... Well, look, we just talked about how the ending's bad. How how can you? No, possibly... I, I say it's I say it subverted it because in the end it's just a father son story. I didn't say I didn't like. Yeah, it. that part's fine, but like. I thought one was like stinky poo poo for me personally. Hold on, the father son stuff is fine in Act Three. It's the rest of Act Three I take issue with. Yeah, but it's just the the son trying to get the the father to see from his point of view. Yeah, but all the Lego shit in Act Three is bad. <laughs> I don't know. I liked it. It was campy. I liked it. Okay. Okay. I like that Super Saiyan Goku shit. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, I didn't like Act 1, personally. I, I, and Act 2 is definitely strong just because it has the most drama in it. And I felt like the humor landed better. Like, uh, would you consider that Act 3 or Act 2 when Vitruvius is like, uh, sounds like a cat poster. And then it comes back later where it is, in fact, a cat poster. Uh... I mean, it made me smile. It didn't make me laugh, but... Most of the jokes in this didn't make me laugh, but I would say I was smiling through most of this movie just because of like uh uh like all the little jokes like um the Green Lantern guy just being a fucking goober is hilarious. I actually I didn't like that for like a dumb reason. Like I Green Lantern just seems like a weird pick for that character. Oh come yeah. this that's a come on. I mean like this, I, this was right after <clears throat> the Green Lantern's movie, wasn't it? Was like around that time where his movie was like real shit. Yeah, it's a few years after, but I, but Green I Hornet is where it's at. I, I just mean like for a character to be the pest to Superman, like Green Lantern's like a strange pick. You could have had the Flash. I, mean, I I guess I don't really know who like would really bother Superman that much. I mean, Superman's whole character is about nobody doing it, but like the Lego versions aren't. <clears throat> yeah. Um, entirely. The, the Superman in this, yeah, I mean, the Superman in this movie was not really Superman. Yeah. In any conceivable way. And the presidents weren't the presidents. They were just, you know, that was just who they were. But I think it's better when it is the character and it's just exaggerated. Like, Batman's good in this movie because he is. Batman in an absurd way. Okay. I see what you're saying. So it's you like the parody aspect of it. Yeah, I mean that's that's, that's what this movie's going for. Yeah. I didn't think it was bad though. I I feel like the uh the relationship aspect was also completely unnecessary. Oh, that actually bothered me. Yeah. I th I thought that was just bad purely bad especially the whole like oh i have a boyfriend my boyfriend's batman like it's just everything about it i really didn't like and i didn't like it that at the end they were like well sorry batman i'm into Emmett instead yeah those those are weird i actually forgot she dated batman like when i started the movie today um and so when she said I've got a boyfriend, it's super serious. I was like, oh, it's doing that classic, she's lying to him, it's a quick joke thing. And then she is dating Batman, I was like, oh, right. That's a thing that happens in this movie. Yeah. Felt like that was a major negative where I was just like, fuck, <laughs> dude, end this. Even the part where they're like, Batman is the worst person I've ever met, or whatever. Like, I don't know. Yeah, no, I agree. I did like the Star Wars uh, inclusion, though. <laughs> but I again, I feel like it was yeah, right around did, the time of the Batman dating that? thing. 
Uh, probably just because they have a you know relationship Lego. with yeah, Star Lego Wars. Yeah, the Star Wars line. And they make Lego Star Wars, which is both. So obviously they have some sort of relationship, not only with Lego and Star Wars, but with Lego and Star Wars making media already. Didn't they make a Lego Star Wars movie? No, I don't think or so. Or something. But no. this is um this is after the Disney acquisition. Yeah, but Lego still has to deal with yeah. Star Wars. I'm just surprised they, that they like, made a Super Force Seeds Awakens is... uh Lego game. Who's who's the production company for this movie? Mm. Warner Bros, right. I don't know. It's still. It's just it, like it. I know Lego has a relationship with Star Wars. Obviously, it's just surprising to me that like a year and a half Lego. after the deal. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't like it was. You know, <clears throat> this massive. Like it would change everything in the story. Well, no. A quick so reference, I, but you know, I thought the whole thing with like Batman being like, "Hey, any rich old dude." That was a good out for Batman. <laughs> Just to leave the movie. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. Like, like, the the oh, other characters are there because Warner Brothers owns DC. That's why all the superheroes are there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I wouldn't look too far into it or anything. Who produced Lord of the Rings? I think it's also WB. Yeah, I know it's WB. Yep. No, it's New Line Cinema. No, but you know who owns New Line Cinema? Uh, ah, I wonder what it does. Yeah. Um, and, and Warner Brothers obviously owns Harry Potter as well. Yeah, and the only reason I know that is because the games are all WB games, all the Lord of the Rings games. Are they? Interesting. Yeah. There, I don't know. Didn't they like get rid of? I, we're going off tangent, but I think WB Games like sold themselves or something. I don't remember. Uh, no, I think they still exist because I think they're still credited on the Batman games, and those were only a couple of years ago. Yeah, but like there, there's something weird happening there right now. Uh, but again, this has nothing to do with you know. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, I mean this. You know, I think Jonathan's hate for this movie is unwarranted, but yeah. I think Brennan's love for this movie is also unwarranted. That's my opinion. I don't hate this movie. I just no, think the humor is not very good. Movie. I just don't understand that because there's so many good jokes in it. Okay. That I just what? like cannot. I mean, I guess I should have wrote them down, but like, there's so many small things. Like the entire plot, the entire setting of like the city, I thought was hilarious. I, thought, I feel like, like I agree with you. Where there, a lot of the dialogue reminded me of Futurama, where it was just quick, like hits, you know, that like are a little bit more deeper than they may seem initially. Mm -hmm. But I didn't feel like any really made me like. I definitely uh, think Futurama is more clever than this. I do, I do as well. <laughs> but I'm saying like the the, the jokes style. are a bit more deeper than they would initially and remember the target mm -hmm. audience for Futurama is like 20 somethings uh at the time right i mean and yes this is a kids movie at the end. target audience for this mm -hmm. is like 8 year old so i felt like it, at least it was so deeper than saying, an 8 year old it was like you got the mind of an 8 year old that <laughs> is what you kind of are saying but yeah no i don't i think that it's better than that i think it rises above it i don't what do you think of Ratatouille, Brendan? Ratatouille's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's for, like, eight-year-olds also. It's not like... Oh, I, hold on. I like Ratatouille as a movie. I don't think the humor is great in Ratatouille. Okay. Because most of the humor in Ratatouille is, haha, look at this rat controlled this man. <laughs> you laughed right there. Yeah, it is a little bit I, I, I laughed you, at the absurdity. You, 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 liked, you liked Mouse Hunt, which humor is, haha, man go bonk. <laughs> Mango bonk, like, yeah, like, yeah, but like, true. Mouse Hunt has like <laughs> actual slapstick. That's haha, -ha mango bonk. Yeah, yeah, but ha -ha, bonk, bonk. I'm not even talking about haha, -ha, mango bonk. I'm talking about literally look at the rat pull this man's hair. 
and control this man. man that's yeah, like yeah. that's like the joke that Ratatouille does. Yeah, that's it's like, like isn't a, it funny? That's like that... an absurdist. That's an absurdist joke. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but it's like it's like it's like the one joke it has is what I'm saying. Oh no, there's some others. There's like yeah, there's a couple other things. And the other one is like the chef lady thinks he's jerking off in the back room or something. <laughs> what if he was? What if the rat was in control? Oh, the God. rat wasn't there at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't understand. It's a rat. But I think Ratatouille is a good movie. Okay. okay. I, I think this is a bad movie. Well, I think the last act is bad. The rest of the movie is fine. I was about to say, I was like, act you just kind of flipped your script. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> just, the, just the last act in the Lego world is bad. Hmm. Which, which hurts the movie. Sure. Man, go bonk. Go bonk, bonk, go bonk. Ha ha. <laughs> <clears throat> I really should have wrote down more jokes. Oh, did you guys catch the one where, like, as they were leaving the city universe and going to the Wild West, like, Emmett's scream, like, perfectly turns into the song? I thought that one was pretty funny. I missed that one the first time that I watched it. Because sure. you know how, like, well, like, just because every movie, whenever they go to the Wild West, they always have that, like, holler song that they play. What is your definition of funny? It's clever. It's humorous. It's something unexpected. I mean, clever. Hold on. I I agree with some of those, Brendan. I, Unexpected. I, I agree with some of those funny? as modifiers. Something being clever does not implicitly make it funny, if it's clever like, and humorous. I think it, I thought that that was humorous because it if was it's unexpected fun. and humorous, it's funny. it was unexpected and it was poking <clears throat> fun at the Brendan, uh, what's your the trope idea of, of like that song. Makes people laugh, I guess. But earlier you said that that wasn't the only thing that counts for a comedy. I mean, like chuckle, smile, laugh, anything in that vicinity. Okay. It has to it made elicit smile. something. It made me go like, huh. Okay. Because like, if, if I just make note of something and I'm like, that was clever, but it doesn't make me like, if it doesn't elicit a response other than that, I wouldn't say it was funny. I would say it was yeah. clever. Fair enough. And by the I way, Brennan already had his comedy... A movie. That's true. <laughs> I, I also didn't pick it because I was like, this is one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. I picked I'm it because sure I was like, did. no, I didn't. <laughs> I never <laughs> once said it was one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. That's insane. I, I picked it because I thought, uh, I picked it because mostly I wanted to know what you guys thought of it. Because obviously I had the, the factor of having seen it and enjoying it as a kid. And the reason I ranked it highly wasn't really for the comedy, although I, I like slapstick stuff uh, to some degree. It was mostly because like the production of the movie was interesting and good and the story was cohesive. And it's, it's just like a, it's an enjoyable bonk, movie. Bonk. Wait, you would rate that movie a 7 just based on it not being a comedy? Because that's even more wild to me. Uh, if it had no comedy aspects, I mean, no, the comedy helps, but I wouldn't rate it like super negatively without the comedy. Ooh. It would, like the there there were no production issues. The movie was fine. It had a cohesive story. It wasn't great. It was purely like honestly, I would say it was a little uninspired. I would say it's, it was a little bad. I mean, you did say that a lot. I did. Yeah. <laughs> so what? Think, what changes if you remove the comedy then? I think uh, this movie cringes me a little. Yeah, there's some cringe. It's funnier moment. than Mouse Hunt, which cringes me literally the entire movie. It it does have its cringy moments, I will say, but I don't know. It's got way too many good moments because, like, I just I love the little fourth wall breaks. I love the whole entire world. Like the whole world was just stupid goofy. What did you think of Lego Ninjago? I never watched it. Never Me had neither. a desire to. <laughs> I remember. Did you have a ninja face when we were kids, Jonathan? Nah. Trevor did. Sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Big ninja energy. 
Oh, well, he liked uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And Alvin and the Chipmunks, I remember that. What? Huh? What? I remember he was really into Alvin and the Chipmunks. I don't remember Trevor? that. Trevor, yeah, I remember that. I uh, I, I, did, I, I vaguely remember, like, watching it with him, but I don't think he, like, loved it. Oh, it was one of his favorite movies, for sure. I don't know if that's accurate. <laughs> Well, you can ask him. I, I can. I did also live with him when that movie came out. I'm telling you, he had, like, <laughs> Elvin and the Chipmunks merch. I, no. He definitely didn't have. It really doesn't. It doesn't I promise seem, you he did. It does not seem his. That's why I was like, what? Well, it doesn't seem really your style. <laughs> That's specifically why I remember. Huh. I don't know about that. Do we have anything more to say? Next time we watch comedy, we'll have to write down every joke that uh... <laughs> makes you laugh. Yeah, yeah like, gee. I did try to do that. I just didn't laugh. Mm -hmm. I did genuinely have my notebook next to me. That was a lot that made me smile. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I think the supporting cast of this movie is so much better than the main people. Well, that's the thing. The main person isn't really supposed to be... This is this is really why I thought it portrayed it. Not because like they I mean, yeah, it was because they made him special, but like yeah, the he, entire he... reason I liked his character was because he was super <clears throat> just like average. You like, say he was a normie. Him to do. Yeah, he was a normie. And then in the in the end they were like, Hey, anybody who isn't a normie is the real normies. And then I was like, ah, oh, man, if you would have just like one either made him realize like he could he could venture off or to come to terms with the fact that he's a normie because he never really did that instead the, of like going, i am a normie and i'm owning up to it he was just like i am actually special and it was like oh undermined your character <laughs> instead of like owning it another problem with emmett as a character is like so he exists in the vein of the audience insert character Right? So, mm -hmm. like... I don't think he does. No, no, I, I think he's supposed to. Like, uh, like, Matrix has, in the first movie, Neo has this to some degree, right? You're, you're supposed to think, what if I was in Neo's situation? It's Luke or Harry yeah. Potter. Yeah, like, they're, they're supposed to be these not super developed or even, I mean, really interesting characters <laughs> initially. Um, because they're supposed to first and foremost beg the question... Like, what if this was me? But the movie spends, like, a couple minutes fully putting Emmett on blast and being like, look at how nothing this guy is. I and thought that was funny. It's, it's yeah, like, it, it's, it's played for humor. But at that point, like, you're not going to be like, I'm Emmett. What would I do? Yeah, it's like, oh, think, this is a nothing person. I don't think they were going for that. No, but he, but he fulfills that role in the story archetype. Like, that's what he's supposed to be. That's what he's initially like. That's what they play. It's it's supposed to. So you're saying that's your what, what that's what they're parroting. Is that um partial parried, parroting and partial of like it just that's how story archetypes work. He is that person huh. because the, I mean this is still the hero's journey. Again, we talked about how this movie is the Matrix. Like, yeah, he is that I, person in the story, even if it's a parody. Yeah. Well, if they would have like subverted it at the end, then he wouldn't have been. But and he still kind of would have been at the start, but yeah, they should yeah. have subverted it. Like they should, or they should have, yeah, they should have kept up the subversion and not, like, maybe if he would have just died, right? Like, that yeah, would have been cool. I mean, they can't do that in this movie, but like, yeah. Well, they could have. They could have if it, he just fell. I, mean, I want Emmett dead. Avengers, and I remember kids crying in the movie theater. But Avengers, and I isn't, thought this is awesome. Avengers isn't oh. a. Children's movie. Toy Story Three was uh, pretty dark. It even got a happy ending, but they really, they really, they, they really uh, there. went there. They went to the line. They did. They didn't cross it though. Um, have any of you guys seen the sequel? I have not. Oh, uh, unfortunately, no. I have the sequel. Okay, I might choose the sequel next. Jesus, like, what's why? Come on. Why would you uh, do this? Because to because I like this movie. And then the sequel is everything that you guys dislike, but on like that is what it is, and I think that there is a difference. So, so like what you're saying is, I know you didn't super jive with this movie, but here's a movie you really won't jive with. 
find it. I mean, I don't know how to explain what and I'm I have a better to... idea. I have a better idea. I will, maybe I won't. But I'm how like... about you recommend the Lego Movie 2? What? what? The That's second Lego Movie. That's what he's That's what we're talking about. Welcome to the conversation. Where have you been? <laughs> yeah. What did you think we were talking about? <laughs> Toy Story 4. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, no. The Lego Movie 2 is like uh basically it's all just lol so random like it lost all of its uh tongue-in-cheekness and it lost all of the clever yeah it's because it's following but the I, ending I think, of lego movie one where they threw think, that off i think brendan would prefer that person there's literally zero chance no, there's no way from what i've heard of lego it. movie 2 there's no chance i like lego movie 2 also better. like I, did they try to make it a musical i think i think that was something if i remember i mean i like i musicals. remember it so little because i blocked it out of my mind because i disliked it okay i like musicals i did musical theater i don't like shit like not real i i hate it when things burst into song how do I explain Jonathan, it? you used to be like, musicals, they're the best. Yeah, I know. I'm just like, you can't just make... I hate it when something isn't a musical, and then they have a, a portion of it be in song for no reason. Like, you have a play, and then it's like a song. That doesn't make sense to me. If it was a musical, make it a musical. Well, I group. disagree, Jonathan. Wait, what do you mean? I'm saying like you. So you only like musicals that are only sung, no speaking parts. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, I know. I'm bad at explaining. Things. Because that's what that, I mean. That's a that's play like, with musical like, is what, what musicals saying. are. I know. I know. <laughs> um, what so like, what, like, what's an example of like a bad musical? Lego like Movie Two. I okay, but one like, that we've seen. <laughs> or an example dude, of a I, good musical. I don't know. Wicked's good. Okay. I like Wicked. I like. Um, I like Hamilton. Okay. Good. Jonathan. I just like it if it doesn't feel like a musical, like if it doesn't feel if it's like inconsistent when it breaks into songs. Like if if you have emotional beats and then they don't burst into song, and then you have emotional beats that do, it's like, okay, are we a musical? So you want all Jonathan, emotion conveyed through song? Kinda. I mean, that's like the that what you've just musical. said is one of the most no, insanely no, idiotic sense. things I have ever heard. At no point in your why, why are you doing the fucking response, were you even close to anything? Why are you doing the Billy Madison rant? Rational thought. Why are you doing the Billy Madison? Everyone rant? in this room what, is now dumber for having listened to us. It's like, I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Uh, Downvote me. Billy Madison also has like two musical numbers in it. I don't think that's true. It does. It's been you a while since I've seen it, but it absolutely. I don't does. think it's true. It does. I think it at least has one. A musical number. Yes. All the characters burst into song and do a musical. Yes. In Absolutely. Billy Madison. Yes. If I Google Billy Madison musical right now. Yes. Absolutely. The most thrilling part. He, of he must have seen that. Billy Madison six slash nine movie clip. I'm Billy's trying to clip. find. I'm, I'm not going to open like a YouTube video with sound. Look, look up Billy Madison. It's hard to tell without the sound. They all start I mean, singing. Yeah, maybe. Right around the 60 second mark until the very end. Why are you playing this audio? It's the opening of it, but yes, it's like two or three minutes. I just want some consistency in my musicals. I don't know. I like inconsistency, so I disagree. Okay. If, if Lego, uh, if I won't, the Lego I won't movie had one. I would I do it. I won't subject you guys to it. I mean, maybe I'll watch <laughs> it. I don't even point. like it myself. <laughs> <laughs> You've watched it? I have. <laughs> uh, I didn't. I, I watched it with my family, though, so it wasn't like I didn't choose it. Your Seagulls family's are all usually older than bad. you. <laughs> 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 they watched it for you. <laughs> no, they didn't. 
Are you kidding? Yes, they Not did. The movies my mom likes. Hallmark movies, probably. Yeah. Oh, you have no idea. She <laughs> loves Hallmark movies. All right. I think we're ready for a rating. Yeah, we can. We can score it, Luke. I think this movie deserves a seven out of ten. Where the fuck is the score sheet? Here it is. Oh, Jonathan. Um, I'm gonna go with an eight. I like this movie. It's really good. Hmm. A five, I think, for me. Hmm. I think I a five. Know. How dare you? The ending's just not good. I'm surprising it wasn't lower with how you were talking about it. No, no, like I said, like it, it's still fine. I, I just, I liked it more when I first saw it. Sure. You could right. probably watch this movie one more time before never watching it again. I'm, so I'm firmly at the never watch it again. Okay. I'm, I'm there. I've arrived there. <laughs> I feel like I could watch this movie a couple more times, for sure. There you go. Um, is it my pick next? It is. Um, I guess Luke, are you picking a comedy after this, or are we are we trying to I, do that? I might. I have an idea of a comedy, but neither you're gonna like it. So, uh, boy, that's fine. Um, if if we're sticking to the comedy thing, I might pick one of the Cornetto trilogy movies. Um. Because, Jonathan, you said you haven't seen any of them. I think they're good. Jonathan, have you seen Shaun of the Dead? I don't think so. Yeah, that that might be the one I pick. Because I, I think it's my favorite of the three. I think I like Hot Fuzz more. I think Hot Fuzz has more jokes that land better, but I like Shaun of the Dead overall more. Yarp? Um, so yeah, it's e it, if we're sticking with comedy, it's either going to be Hot Fuzz or Shaun of the Dead. I'm not. Or you could go with Is It the End or whatever it's called. I think it's called I The End of the movie. World. But it, that one's not as pick. good. This is your pick. You can pick a, a drama if you want to. It's fine. We're doing the comedies. All right. We're doing the comedies. You um, could always pick Code Geass the movie. That's not a comedy. And also, does that require having seen the anime? No, but uh, it's it's really bad either way. <laughs> I feel like the anime is like good for like a season, maybe, and then it like shits the bed. Oh no, I think the second season is perfect, and I've, it ends. I've perfect. tried to watch the show several times, and I just never get there. I just like uh, you like it's, the second it's season of Code Geass. Yeah, it's Amazing. way better than the first. Yeah. What if I picked a really bad comedy movie? You could do that. You could, but you've already, you've done, already that. done that. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what if I picked like a really like grown ups to <laughs> nothing salvageable, like nothing good pick, to talk about? Son uh, of the Mask 2. <laughs> or, or Son of the Mask. The Mask 2. I knew he would do a revenge one. Um, no, I'm not actually doing a revenge one. I also don't want to watch Son of the Mask again. <laughs> um, yeah, well, Lego Movie isn't bad enough to warrant a revenge pick. Probably. And in my defense, uh, I knew absolutely nothing about War Dogs, so... Yeah, that one, I would say, did warrant a revenge pick. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, I... It Wait, came what up on what? Is, what is that called? A three. Me? You rated it three. Yeah, you and I, I both gave it a six. three. Luke gave it a six. I I sick still thought I head. like enjoyed the movie. I just felt like I didn't like. I like. I'm never gonna watch it again. And I think it basically is just a poor man's Wolf of Wall Street. But I mean, like, I would if somebody was like, "Hey, I'm thinking about watching War Dogs," I'd be like, "I would not do that." <laughs> That's a mistake. I would be like, "It's you can watch it once." Like. Anyway, I think we're it's done here. Movie, but, you know. mm -hmm. No revenge pick yet, probably. But maybe. 
but maybe. I mean, I feel like I feel like I need both of you guys to really suck shit for me to, like, for to warrant a revenge pick. And like most of the time, if one of your guys' movies I didn't drive with, the other one's movie's fine. Well, Jonathan, I should I think you should go with a Jonah Hill Hill movie. I do not like Jonah Hill comedies. <laughs> also, John, wait, Jonathan just picked this. This was his movie that we did. And that wasn't that a Jonah Hill movie too? That's wasn't true. Jonah Hill's in this movie. He's he's Green Lantern. Yeah. Uh, Jonah Hill's favorite need, character. We need one more Jonah Hill <laughs> movie to complete the. I, I, I could pick Accepted. I like that movie. Even though I just it is good. It. My girlfriend loves that movie. I really like it, Accepted. I like it. I wouldn't say... I haven't watched it lately, but I, I wouldn't say it's like my favorite. I mean, it, it's, it's, along it's a comedy line. movie that I quote, which I think is, is a good testament to a comedy movie. I think it's in the same ballpark as Euro Trip. I mean, also, if I pick that movie, I would know what the opening quote is for the episode. For a uh, Euro trip? No, no, if I picked Accepted. Oh. Um, Ask me about my it... wiener. Simply. <laughs> oh, Princess Bride is another good comedy that's, like, quotable. Yeah, I mean, that's my favorite comedy movie, probably. It's, it's, it's one of my favorite movies. So. You see, me, I, I thought it was okay. I really like Princess Bride. I think by today's standard as a comedy, it's pretty simple. Yeah, but the, um, yeah. so that's this is what I was saying last week. Like comedy's changed. Oh yeah, I don't like where they went though. I think I like. You don't like where, where they, they went, went and the you early... picked the Lego Movie. Yeah, you picked a newer comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm talking like adult comedies. I do not I like. like. I don't like. I think they, they peaked in like 2010, but yeah. Maybe know. even all before the, all that. The, all the adult comedies that I've seen, like, kind of recently. Like, 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 which ones? I'm trying to think. Like, what's the one about, like, some people who move into a house, and then there's, like, a frat part, like, a frat house next to them? I didn't, I, that was not an adult comedy. That was a movie for, like, 14-year-olds. I would say it's older than 14, but Neighbors. Yeah, Neighbors. I don't know. I mean... It had like, some funny beats, but for the most part, no, yeah, not a great movie. Was, yeah, I didn't like that Super movie. unpleasant. I didn't like Grown Ups and stuff like that. Super unpleasant. Yeah, Grown Ups again is like a movie for six years. Grown Ups, like any, grown any ups isn't a movie. It, yeah, it's, it's a vacation. Experience. It's a yeah. vacation paycheck. Any Ben Stiller like comedy is usually super just unbearable. Any um, really? What about Ben Tropical Stiller? Thunder? Not Ben Stiller. What's the one? Fuck. What's it called? Uh, what's the What's the dude? God, uh, what's Adam his Sandler. Name? Adam Sandler, that's the guy. How do you I feel know? like any of his newer shit. Is yeah, his new, his new stuff. Any bad. of his stuff is trash. And then any. Um... I actually liked the the Cobbler and Sandy Wexler, but those are like less comedies and more. Any anything them. starring like The Rock and Kevin Hart as like yeah, a those are complete like, trash. But again, that's not garbage. that's not everything. I mean, that's not like where they went. I think you're just looking in the wrong direction. I mean, it's a, it's a went. lot. That's not like most like everything. That That's I've like family comedies. I feel. What like. other what other comedies are there out there? Uh, I like Twenty One and Twenty Two Jump Street. I did not like Twenty First Jump Street. Really? I mean, I, I don't know what movie again. that is. I guess I'll have to watch it again because I was a little bit younger when I watched it. Also, Twenty One Jump Street was it. like almost ten years ago now. Yeah, that's what I said. I said it peaked like ten years ago, mm. 2010, 2008, 2006 yeah. vibe. Um, yeah, but... I like the Jump Street movies. I I think twenty two. What do you think twenty one is better than twenty two or the other way around? I'd have to rewatch them. I feel like a gut check. I would say twenty one's better, but I don't know. I I think for I me, watched having one. watched both like two or three years ago, I can say twenty two is better for me than twenty one. Yeah, I really don't know. I'd have to rewatch them. Yeah, but it's one of those where like both of them in my opinion, are, like, excellent movies. Like, but yeah, I feel like any movie, yeah, I agree with you there, like, Kevin Hart and The Rock are just, they're, they're there to be, like, normie comedy movies. They're not, even, like... I don't even think that they're, like, it's not their fault, I would say. Like, yeah, I mean, they, they literally just get paid, like, $100 million to do, like, the pacifier and shit. Like, to me... Oh, well, that's not The Rock, that's the other one. It's Vin Diesel. Yeah, but there it's the same kind of shit. That's yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah, talking yeah. about. 
I could pick a comedy film I haven't seen, but I'm interested in. Yeah, you could. Which one? Hail Caesar. Oh. I did want to watch that one as well. Yeah, it's the Coen Brothers. It, it came out while I was working at Family Video. And I was like, this oh, looks okay. kind of interesting. And then I heard Everything. bad things, so I never watched it. Yeah, I heard bad things as well. Have you guys ever heard, uh, have you guys watched Ballad of Buster Scruggs? Sounds familiar. It sounds it's familiar to me too, but I feel like I haven't seen it. It's another Cohen one. It's on Netflix. That one's good. I might do that next week if we're done with comedies, but I think that the comedy month is going to end with me again, so I guess I'll have to pocket that one. There's Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? You could do whatever you want. I could. <laughs> let's just all just, let's just watch Cohen Brother films. <laughs> <laughs> they make good movies. That they they make, except for apparently Hell Caesar, Caesar, but you know. I mean, even that, I think it's still rated like fairly well. I think I'm gonna like it because it looks real nice. <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, so it's either gonna be Hot Fuzz, Strong of the Dead, or Hell Caesar, and I will determine that sometime. What about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? It's not on the list. It's it's billed as a thing. Uh, I think Tarantino is up his own asshole most of the time. Yeah, I mean, people do <laughs> suffer from success. It's like a real thing. Yeah. Happened to Shyamalan. Yep. In a big way. Where are the last couple Tarantino films? Did either of you see Sausage Party? God, we're not watching Sausage Party. Did either no. of you see Sausage Party? Did not. Well, that'll be the first veto. <laughs> but I, no, have either of you seen? No, no, but have either of you seen Sausage? Party? No, I have not yeah. seen Sausage Party. I have not. It wasn't as bad as what I thought it was going to be. If you pick Sausage Party, I will strongly campaign for a veto. <laughs> I don't. I thought we already agreed on no veto. No, no. We had, otherwise we I said, would have vetoed Lego Movie. We said there has to be we said both reason. people had to agree and ha like the other two people had to agree and have a good reason. Have what would be the reason? I think we both disagree. Um, just like, so like you could have campaigned Lego Movie of like, we've already seen it, it's not going to land that well. Like, it can't just be don't want it, it has to be like, don't want it with a compelling reason. Like, yeah, but I don't think that we have a compelling yeah, reason. Yeah, there's no compelling reason. I, I think, like, avoiding an actually bad movie that have, we will have nothing to talk about is... I don't... Here's the thing. I, it came out with a... Not even mixed, like, above... Critical response is generally, <clears throat> like, not bad. Okay, I so... I think it had a... It if, had... if we vetoed Emoji Movie, we would all agree that that's acceptable. I wouldn't veto no. emoji movie. I wouldn't either. I think it'd be fun to shit on a movie every once yeah. in a while. But th 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 there's no discussion of the movie. It is just oh, there look is at how bad this is. I don't think it's that bad. The emoji oh. movie? What? No. Uh, sausage Party. So that's what I'm asking. How far removed from emoji movie is Sausage Party? Really? I don't think there's no such movie. Is like it's too bad. I'm not watching it. I think the thing is like we've think... all watched it recently. I'm not fucking. I think like Emoji Movie is bad yeah. enough that I never want to watch it. I, I will watch it if either of you pick it. I'm not going to pick the Emoji I'm, Movie. I'm I just explicitly said I don't want to watch the Emoji Movie. I'm never going to pick it, but I don't think that I would veto it just because... Yeah, I, I would definitely want to watch it just to see where, like... I've I've watched a review one time when that movie came out, and I want to, like, see exactly where it's coming from. I can tell you definitively if the Emoji Movie was picked, I would lie and not watch it. I mean, you can just not take place or not take part of that uh, episode. It would just be a two, two, uh, yeah, pleasant one. But I, I think there shouldn't be anything wrong with like, well, this movie isn't good enough for me. I think that's some bullshit. I, I, I just, I don't know. I think when a movie is like bad with nothing salvageable to even talk well, about, well, it got an eighty-eight. I'm, all I'm saying it's got an eighty-eight percent on a. Rotten Tomatoes. I just think it's weird that you guys don't like to shit on movies because that's one of the most fun things to do. Just take a listen. Movie I will shit on a movie. How long can we shit sustainably shit on a movie though? I shit on Jurassic World two for three hours with my friends. Yeah, and not only Talking that, but I I've, I must have shit on uh, Star Wars Episode eight and nine for like thirty hours combined. 
But there, so both of those are movies with a history to discuss in comparison. I don't think we ever. Sausage touched Party has a, has a history, quite a history, after all. Of what? <laughs> of it, it actually has like a pretty like the story of the anim like the animators and what like happened to them is actually pretty fucked up. <clears throat> worth I'm I'm not I'm not outright saying no to Sausage Party. I just. See, look. I would outright say what, no what, to what, Emoji what's, Movie. What's the rating on Rob? I would, I would really game. rather not watch Sausage Party. No, please. I'm not do saying not, I'm going to pick it. Don't, don't misunderstand but me. But the, the more, the, no, listen, the more you tell me don't, like, don't pick it, the more I want to pick it. Again, everything I've said has been, in specifics, relations to the Emoji Movie, I was just curious how far removed from oh. Emoji Movie this movie is. It's, it's, here's the thing. The Emoji Movie is like, a defecation. This movie, I feel like, is misunderstood, and it's not actually. Isn't a this bad movie, movie just all dick jokes using a sausage? Uh, that's a lot of it, yeah. <laughs> but I, I like this movie. <laughs> you like this movie? Yeah. Like, what would you give this movie out of ten? Uh, I'm probably like a seven or an eight. Wow, that's insane. What? It's it's much better that I I watched it just because I'm like yeah whatever the fuck. So so just to and be clear, I ended up just to be like clear, as... Sausage Party is better than Secret Life of Walter Mitty, Pirates of Silicon Valley, Big Fish, uh, Coherence, Moonlight. I mean, it's a comedy, so you just already talked about how comedies are rated differently. But uh, but but rated differently, but. The core rating should still reflect which movie you would rather watch. Yeah, but th that's my enjoyment. Like, so you, I so like... you, would, you would rather watch Sausage Party than Bigger Life of Walter Mitty, Parts of yes. Silicon Valley, Big Fish, yes. Uh, yes. Coherence, Moonlight. Yeah. Fuck what? I mean, you, you haven't even seen it, so <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not. I've seen clips of it. I would say it, it's just a laugh. Like, if you want to laugh, like, that's why it's rated high. Like, as far as overall enjoyment, I'd probably give this movie a seven or an eight. Yeah. Interesting. I'm not saying, like, it's a fucking the best movie or anything like that, but I enjoyed it. And yeah, a lot of it is just dick jokes. Also, here's the thought I just had. Are there any movies where the picker did not rate it the highest for us? I don't know. Yeah, there's gotta be. I, I know there are ties. Oh, yeah, Princess Mononoke. Oh, yeah. That was the and one. Lost in Translation. Let's see this. Yeah, I end up rating uh, Lost in Translation the highest with a five. Yeah, it's only Mononoke and Lost in Translation. Uh, Mononoke, Jonathan picked it at nine. I picked it with an eight. And I've given a lot of nines. About time is a tie. I've given a lot of eight. Luke has as well. I mean, I'm not going to vote something is like really bad unless i really don't because like uh, yeah i mean we haven't picked a lot of like bad movies so seven eight kind of makes sense yeah i mean tenant by <clears> far <throat> i think for me is just the movie i would least want to watch again and i rated that the lowest i also rated lost in translation you rated mouse on the low oh yeah, yeah i forgot about that one yeah absolutely i would never <laughs> watch that movie again you could unless you paid me like four hundred dollars or if i pick it no, we have a good reason for veto. <laughs> you have I to give. Like, I don't know. To pick another Do movie. You? You, to pick another movie, like you have to give at least two years. To pick the same fucking movie again. <laughs> what do you think, Jonathan? You think you can just pick a movie we've already rated? Uh, not for this year, at least. Yeah. All right. See you in May. <laughs> I'm just gonna fucking pick. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I'll just go off my memory. Like, I fucking hate this movie. <laughs> um, that's why I don't like movies that we've already all seen. 
too much. <clears throat> yeah, but if we haven't talked about, but, it, I mean, also if it's we, been a we've while. all seen the Lego movie, yeah. we just talked about. Yeah, that. we have, and I didn't like it as a pick, but I didn't like veto it. Anyway, we're done with that fucking five on a Lego movie. I can't believe that. Why can't you believe that? All I all mad. I did was talk about how this movie wasn't that good. I'm so surprised. Think... Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't go lower with how he so was wait, talking about it. You thought it, this but... movie, right? You thought the Lego Movie was the same on par with the Pirates of Silicon Valley. Uh, I'm equally likely to rewatch them. Yes, which is to say, I'll never rewatch them. But rewatching what is that? All a, a score is? No, the score is like I think it's a very good indicator. It's, it's a comprehensive like is. it's it's a rough gauge of if I'll rewatch it and how I. Like, would I recommend it to people? Which is to say, for both of those movies, no and no. Like, as much as I love uh, Tron Legacy, I don't think it would make a good pick. Because, uh... I kind of disagree. No, it would make a good pick maybe in, like, a year if none of us watched it. But I watch it, like, pretty regularly. I mean, I don't. It's just good for the fucking music. And also, it, you guys gave it a shit score, and it is much better. Well, not like gave it a score, but like, I remember us talking about it. And I'm like, no, that actually does have a purpose. But yeah. Um, so so to, to comprehensively say, Jonathan, at a glance, a five basically means I won't rewatch it, I won't recommend it to people, but I won't warn people off of it. Brennan, you really don't like giving people sixes. Their movies sixes. Nobody's earned a six. I've only given a f <laughs> one five. I guess that's the really is the only movie that I feel completely neutral about. I've given two fives and one four, and that's basically the worst score I've given is a four. Mm -hmm. And looking back at it, Mouse Hunt deserves a three. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never given a six. Dude, Mouse Hunt deserves a two, man. I'm the only person who's given a ten, so yeah, yeah. And I fucking you love fucking that weeb. I fucking love that movie, but I didn't <laughs> yeah, even give Princess don't... Mononoke the highest score. You have not given anything a nine, Luke. I I don't know that I'll ever give a huh. a ten unless something surprises me because I'm not likely to pick movies that I would give a ten for like for my pick. So it would have to be something you guys picked that became a ten for me. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know. I feel kind of similar. I, I, think it, I don't even know if I would... I know I would give a 10 to some things, but it, the 10 really, for me, is like... It has like a deep emotional connection that I can That's watch That's how I feel about time. your name. Lego I can watch too. it like yeah. over and over and over again. I don't think we'd give a 10 to the Lego movie too. <laughs> you know it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. In my head, my rough tens are like Princess Bride, T two, Jurassic Park. Um, Jurassic Park might get a ten, but it, it would probably be a nine for me. It's one of like, obviously, as a kid, I watched that movie more than any <clears throat> other movie. I fucking love that movie, but like, I don't know. We'll see if I watch it again how I feel. But it's it's been a little while. Anyway, let's end this episode. Very yeah, well. it's been a while. <laughs> um, don't know the pick yet. You'll see eventually. One, one of the three. But thanks for listening. Why are my pants so cold and wet? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye.